next favorite place on earth it's pretty, it's pretty b and r just bought this yard and it is amazing Stefan and i were walking through and we found this check out this thing crane we had to like swim to it because the weeds were so high all we know is that it's super cool it's got a three cylinder two stroke detroit in it and we asked what they're gonna do with it they said if you can get it running and drive it out of here they'll do some some, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say work, but the boom is folded over. <laughs> we're not gonna do any work. We're not gonna do any work. If not, they're just gonna and toss it. So we're gonna save this thing today. We're gonna get it running. Guys, that thing, it's got a baby one of these. And if you guys like this shirt, come to the merch store. So this is a three cylinder Detroit, probably a three, 353, something like that. Just a little baby. And what's cool about this thing is I don't think there's any hydraulics. So. Starting an old machine like this is always kind of iffy because more than likely you're just going to blow a hydraulic line. Then you're going to lose $200 worth of oil. Yeah. Then you're going to spend another 100 bucks on a line and it's junk. But this is all just gears and belts and pulleys and clutches. And, and a lot of dangerous old cable. Yeah, so let's not, <laughs> let's figure out which one moves the cables and not touch that. So we're we want to hook ropes up to the controls and do it from over there. From outside, yeah. So this will be an oil bath, which is pretty cool. Does it show the oil? So what happens, the old filters used to just have oil in the bottom. The air would come in and it would hit the oil and the oil would catch all the dirt. And it actually worked much better than most modern air filters. Problem is, companies weren't selling oil filters. Yeah. So they stopped making them. Air filters. Air filters. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have any stuff in the thing? Stuff in the thing. Oil? It's dry. It look, it's mildly moist in here. Yeah, that's all right. It had something in it at one point. So we can put a little bit of water in there, and then we can let it... Well, we do know they last for quite a while without water. That's true. So, yeah, we, so can we can just run, run it. Run it. <laughs> so this one's got the side-mounted supercharger, which is kind of cool. Um, we need positive pressure to push the exhaust gases out and fresh intake um, into the cylinder when the ports get uncovered. We gotta take the valve cover off and make sure that the racks move for the injectors. They, when you stop them, I guess they go naturally as full. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so so if one of them sticks, all three go into full and then they take off and it gets kind of scary. Gas gauge is so messed up. It oh. just had like any fuel in it. Okay. It, like it would knock so bad. Look at this. The entire rack is free. That looks really nice. We don't even have to do anything. Look. Other than like, we got a yeah. Like, that was from pulling the cover off. Yeah. I should have pressure washed it. Did you bring the pressure washer? Yeah, I got. Let me just pull it out right now. <laughs> so, this is a unit injector, and we've been corrected multiple times that it's not a common rail. Even though I disagree fuel comes through a passage in the head gets fed up into these tubes so wait 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 what you're saying is that they're all fed from a single passageway like a rail type device like a common rail yeah, common rail. Anyway. yeah it's great. there's a feed and a return and this is your injector um, underneath here which is pushed up by a camshaft so, so the this camshaft is the injector? That's the injector. Yeah. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh and yeah, that, it makes sense. Look, it goes into the thingies. Yeah. So what happens with these racks is um, these racks get stuck. And when you fire them up, they go full throttle. But these ones seem to be moving. So we are okay in that aspect. It's really clean, actually. It's very clean in there. <laughs> Fuel comes in, gets put underneath the injector. The injector squeezes it, sprays it into the... Um, into the chamber. These both are exhaust valves. So you gotta believe me, one is not an intake and it is a two stroke. So um, I think, you know what? We could probably put the valve cover back yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, we did our due diligence. Yep. We had a look. Yeah, so let's see if we go full throttle here. Oh. <laughs> yep. I think that would be off. So we'll go like half throttle. That makes sense. Actually, oh, even the gasket's still okay. Look at that. Yeah. All right, put that back on. We're good to go. So as people that don't know what they're talking about, trying to tell us that it's not a two-stroke because it's got exhaust valves. It's not. It's, it's got two exhaust valves and it's definitely a two-stroke. Right. But it's not a motorcycle. So you guys, <laughs> if you see this and it's not in your motor two-stroke motorcycle from the '90s, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably a travel. So you can lock her down. For left and right? Yeah. And then this will control your booms and stuff? 
Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look at, look at this thing. Right. So, so this this works on a taper, and it pushes this brake band. You can see this brake. It oh, locks up that yeah. drum, and that's what that's what starts spinning that drum. So this is spinning all the time, that and this be, slows yeah. it down. That would probably stop it, me pushing it in, right? Right. And then this would be go. This front one's tied off. Yeah. So it's not doing anything. The more I look at this thing, like, so you're en you're in the engine room running this thing. You've got levers all around you, and are, there's no push buttons. There's no AC. Um, and anything just slightly to your left is gonna kill you. I don't think that the seat is to sit on. I think it's just for the guys. Why does it have throttle here? It says throttle. Well, that one. That one's busted right Throttle off. start. Yeah, this one's busted right out. I oh, I can manually engage the starter. <laughs> Where? Oh wait. Where is the fuel tank? Right here. Did you look in it? Yeah. It smells like uh, really, really old. I, I want to figure out how it turns yet. I got to figure out how it turns, spins, and, and, and what makes the tracks move. That's really all we need working. That would be the those pedals. Those two pedals. I think this handle turns it. I think this turns it. I think this is the one that turns. So that yeah, that's, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Well, I'm sure if we ramp it up high enough, it'll unseize everything. And it's not even that bad. It's um. So we might have a chance of starting this today. Oh, guarantee. If it's not C's? It's not C's. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, that's starting. Ugh. Yeah. I know my two strokes. <laughs> <laughs> Fluid in the red, so we won't overheat the sucker. We right. got emergency shut off. Emergency shut off. Cadillac hubcap. And we're gonna see if we can start it on the historic diesel that's in it. Detroit's will pretty much run on anything. Like I think it'll yeah. run on taco farts, honestly. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> and if it doesn't work, we'll start farting in the intake. <laughs> We've got the whole thing disconnected with the main clutch, so we're gonna try and get it running first. Then we'll get more into the clutches. Uh, we've cut all the main cables for the boom outside. They were just dangerous and yeah, not, so, they weren't going to work. So our biggest issue is making sure we don't fall into Death. rotating things. But that has to be this main clutch has to be engaged first, and we've disconnected that. And that's your go-to handle. Your throttle is your go-to handle. Mine is a shut off. I'm kind of nervous, but let's start it. All right, let's start it. Okay. We just know how to pick good stuff. <laughs> so this thing hasn't ran in 20 years. We didn't even bother changing fuel filters or new fuel. Nice. All right, let's drive it. Let's go. <laughs> let's go to, let's go to Timmy. Okay.
shit, that's scary. <laughs> that's like, that's like the whole thing just wakes up, but it's like, oh, all right, I'm gonna cut some shit. But yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. So these things, the foot pedals are, the, I think, the drums. Look at this. I didn't see this before, but we've got S, S B, and T. What's that? So those, I, I think the one goes down to the to those gears at the bottom. So I bet you that's swing. This one. Yeah, swing, and then maybe travel. Prop lock. And this one is boom and travel. So, okay, so boom and travel. Okay. Oh yeah, boom travel. So we're in travel. We're in travel. We want to move. I guess. Contact. Yeah. Uh, oh, what about that? Do you want to fix that? Or... We know what it is. It's hitting, it's hitting on that metal.
backwards. Go backwards and pull it back and we'll hit this. <laughs> what did we crush? <laughs> I don't think it, it I don't think it was savable. Here, <laughs> GoPro. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. All right, so the last time this thing was running was 20 years ago, we fired it up on the old fuel. I think it smokes a little bit, but like I said, those Detroits will run on anything. Yeah. That engine is in good shape. Uh, we're not gonna blow that one up. No. Nope. Um, so you should buy it. You should definitely buy it. You buy should it. call VNR, grab this engine. You could drive it, it home as put is. Put it in a, an S10 or a Focus. You could put um, it in another crane. <laughs> <laughs> let's go see what else is in the yard. Yeah. And uh, let's go fire something else up. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Shaft driven. P pump. I don't know, it's got two R's on it. I think it's a Rolls Royce. So Inger, here's the issue. Ingersoll Rand. Also. So Ingersoll Rand probably built the generator. Probably. And they bought the engine from Rolls Royce. That's well, oil. That's crazy. That's a big oil pan. That's awesome. It's low, but it's got oil. But it's not full of water, which is good because the exhaust is pointing up with an open with an open header. Again, why do people do that? It's not seized. No, it'll turn over? Yeah. Look at that, it's almost ready to pay. Is the PTO moving? Yep. Yeah. It's, it's a little crunchy. <laughs> There's a massive supercharger on this side. I know. There's three air filters on the back here. So what should we do? Start it. I think this is shot. The whole thing? Well, there's a governor at the back, it needs to spin, and this thing is not gonna let it spin. There's something broken here oh. in the back of the pump. See, this is disconnected. So there's a lever here. Yeah. This, this is your throttle lever, obviously, but that must be, move the rack. But at least and, we and can kill it with this. We can kill it. I would probably open up, see if you can see in anything. That would have your flywheels, your, your weights up against it. So if you tighten the springs on that, then you can rev it. Oh, you don't think it. it's just a viewport? No. no. I don't know. No, there's something spinning and those are the weights that govern it. And then this is your rack. So that's your rack that gives it fuel. And then there's weights inside there. And as they open up, they push back on the rack to cut the fuel back. Well, when it's running, we'll just jam some sticks in there and see what it does. 
you want some merch, head to our store. It's wicked cool. Let's go buy it so we can do sticking around stuff like this. <laughs>